to make sure you don't like do anything you're embarrassed with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. online. On that note, <laughs> before we begin, would you like a shot of absinthe? Oh God, no. <laughs> no, okay. Christ, no. No one has yet to say yes to it. Can you put that down there? I can. Oh God. Oh, it's cold. That was really hard to juggle between my legs while driving. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, it's talking about basic morality. Okay, and it's called the fallen Superman complex. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so just hypothetically, you take two people. Let's call them Clark and Lex. Okay. Yep. Okay, and Clark's like your typical great guy. Cool dude. Nice guy. Yep. Fantastic. Awesome. One, one would almost say Superman type figure. Yeah, very mm. Superman. Um, mm. His power is he always does the right thing. Uh. Lex. Piece of shit. Yeah, okay. Okay, absolute trash. And um, approaching this conflict, mm -hmm. uh, Superman always approaches it where he tries to do the best thing by everyone tries to do the right thing. Mm. Where Lex is like, I'm gonna be a piece of shit to Clark. Mm -hmm. Fuck up his life. And eventually, he succeeds at that. But not only does he succeed at that, people don't know. Mm -hmm. So, like, everyone will think Clark is a piece of shit, okay. not Lex. Yeah. Okay, after that point, is it okay for Clark to hurt Lex? Um, I if Lex has destroyed his life. Destroyed and his life? Hmm. Uh, is it okay for him to do? This isn't like the only part, this is going like a long question, depending on how you answer. Morally, probably not. Like, yeah. Lex sounds like he's a real asshole. Yes, he's a terrible person. Doing this sort of thing to Clark. And it's not like he's a good. He's only an asshole to Clark. Mm. He's he's a piece of shit. Terrible, yeah, yeah. Terrible person. But um, I don't think that means it's morally right that you can go and get revenge on mm. Lex. I suppose. Like, it, it's sort of how you cope and, and get back on with it. Like so what makes you think it's particularly wrong? What makes it wrong? Yeah, why is it... Why is, What's why is the, Clark um, not yeah. able to go back for it? Um, because I suppose it comes back to that two wrongs don't make a right. Like, if if this guy is being an arsehole and, and ruining his life, does that give Clark this um, this right to, to do the same thing back, hurt him? Lex has ruined his life. Oh, absolutely has. Has ruined his life. Yep. And going forward, there's not really anything Clark can do about that. And everyone thinks Clark is a piece of shit. Well, I mean, I guess it comes down to your own personal values. Like, and really. And that's what I'm asking you. Yeah, and I suppose mine is, you know, it's not sort of revenge. Who's this guy walking past? Um, it's not for revenge, that sort of stuff. Mm. Um, you know, doing the right thing. Oh, oh you're making me think. Yeah, yeah, this, really is, this, is, this isn't like a uh, fuck of you thing. It's just like a think of one. Yeah, well, I suppose it's just the way that, yeah, I've my own values comes down to it is I, I think it would be a dick move to do it back so and so this is so this this one's a bit more about basic morality mm -hmm. and so like there's nothing so the reason why I find this interesting and I'm mm -hmm. asking people mm -hmm. is because this kind of good can't it's self extinctual mm -hmm. because you won't know if, theoretically, if this happened to somebody, mm -hmm. you wouldn't know if this happened in the real world. Because mm. you just think they're a dick. Mm. And they lose. If yeah. they don't do anything back. Mm. So you don't think justifying having the survival of a good person is worth the equivalent of a bad person. So, what you're saying is that... What you're asking is, is Clark justified in fighting back and getting rid of this that evil... Um, let's not but, say but, evil, let's say meaner. Mean. Uh. Uh. But, um, mm, do I think that, well, it's th just, that you shouldn't, like... Let's just value it at mm -hmm. the, at its center, okay? Mm -hmm. So, it doesn't matter the context around it, mm -hmm. right? If you're doing a bad thing, it's a bad thing. Yeah. So, it's the actions that are bad. Yeah. Not the, uh... Not the person. Not the person or mm. the context around it. Yeah. Okay, so, like, just to take that, like, a couple of steps next and mm -hmm. further, mm -hmm. does that mean all morality is based on actions and context doesn't matter at all? 
So say, say hypothetically, mm -hmm. Clark is like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to do the right thing and mm -hmm. walk away. Mm -hmm. And then someone who doesn't have anything to do with Lex, say, uh, I don't know, random name, Bruce. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Comes along, I'm related, and it's like, oh, Lex is a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do And he like ruins his life. Mm -hmm. Is that more evil or the same evil? Because once again, you've just valued it at the level of the action. Same evil, yeah. Same evil. Oh, so you would say it's the same evil, yeah. Despite the surrounding con. So it's, for you, it's completely. So, so you're asking me, is it the actions, not the context? Well, no. I'm just trying to. The point of this one is, I'm just trying to define. I'm going around trying to define so, the basis for people's morality, right? Yeah. Well, well and I, so like, that's why I'm asking is like how mm. much value each center has mm. from context to mm. anger not mm. anger sorry context to a action yeah well yeah i still am it's the same sort of evil it's just so it's, it's just the way that we might look at it like with our, us knowing this would be well he um messed up this guy's life so it's only fair that someone else messes him up but doesn't that isn't that exactly the same thing that he did in the first place mm. Mm. so I, I would go down that road of action Okay, just mm -hmm. continuing it, because mm -hmm. once again, this is just about finding a basis mm -hmm. for your morality mm -hmm. and center and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Say, Clark, and I'm just going to keep going further along this line, mm -hmm. okay? And then I'll be changing different factors to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So say Clark did it to not Lex, mm -hmm. um, somebody called Jimmy, a mm -hmm. good person, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ruining his life. Mm -hmm. No context, no no relation. Is that more evil or less evil than ruining Lex's life? Well, because I feel like there's going to be some sort of twist no. down here about it being inadvertent, but he still did it. Does that still make it? No. No? No, well, that is coming, but <laughs> it's not. I'm not going to, like, try, I'm, this isn't a trick question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This isn't like a, hey, gotcha, or... <laughs> I'm gonna twist it to. Turns out you fucked your dad the whole time, or <gasps> something like that. It's but just. He left. I'm just gonna. I'm evolving the question uh -huh, uh -huh. to it, get your answer. So like, just answer each individual one as mm -hmm. honestly as you can. Mm -hmm. So if he did the same thing to this person called Jimmy. Yep. Jimmy Olsen. I, I gotcha. I read. I, I've I've read my fair share of comics. If um if Clark did it to Jimmy. Mm -hmm. No context, just ruined his life. Would that still make it evil? Yep. I suppose the way that I've looked at it was would be yes. Like this, still that same question. He's ruining this person's life. Yeah. So it would you be just as evil to do it to a to Jimmy or to um? Sorry, it'd be just as evil for Bruce to do it to Jimmy as he would have done for Lex. Wait, Bruce now? Yeah. Sorry. Clark's, Clark left off for the second one. Okay. So Bruce... So Bru Bruce is ruining Jimmy's life. Yeah. yeah. All right. I should have clarified. Mm -hmm. um, so these two people have no relation towards each other. Mm -hmm. They're both good people. Yeah. So like you've, I've taken... Classically basically I've taken good. the context of what Lex is out of it. Mm -hmm. And I've put somebody else. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's when we're talking about actions like without context because I, I could say that. But... You know, what if this person's this person has done something, and as a consequence of that, it ruined that other person's life first. If they deliberately well, this did is it. this is deliberate. Oh, then yeah. So it's more evil. Oh, it's just as just as evil as what you would have done to Lex. Yeah, I would imagine so. This is, this is actually this is the first one I've got this line. Okay. Usually, people will instantly go for the context of this. Mm. Kind of interesting, and I'm mm. having to think of a new question. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's go down that next one mm. naturally. Mm. Um, by the way, you're flying through this. Uh, I'm sorry. You just no, told me, you just told me you got a dying battery. No, it's it's fine. <laughs> it's like I was really worried, and now I'm not like even remotely worried. <laughs> I, I I like I like rusted out an hour for this. <laughs> I'm thinking we're going to be done before I have to reset that. <laughs> so um. Now let's go down that line of um, inadvertentness. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's let's remove everybody away mm -hmm. from this. Let's take um, clean slate, clean slate, different universe, whatever you want to call it. Let's take two random people called Steve and Tony. Oh, okay, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And so, um, 
probably make a good Steve cinematic one. Steve does something. Mm. It's a, it'd be like a civil war. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Steve does something. Mm -hmm. So no, no, wait. Tony does something. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, Steve. Steve does something. Mm. And essentially, it, let's say it has good consequences, mm -hmm. right? Let's give it the best case scenario. He did something that would have done like a better good for the world mm -hmm. and himself, mm -hmm. right? But inadvertently, because of that, that's led to this traumatic experience for Tony. Mm -hmm. Absolutely horrific and has, in fact, ruined a big part of his life. Mm -hmm. Is that just as evil? Same effect. It's the same effect. Just so quickly, it's the same effect that what a Bruce deliberately did mm -hmm. to Jimmy mm -hmm. would have happened. It's just when Steve did it to Tony, it's incidental. Wait, Steve did it to Tony? Yep. Okay. Because that's where where what I was talking about was, uh, are we talking the same thing about, you know, he had intentions but consequences. Steve had no idea this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm going to do this, this will be better for the world. Mm -hmm. But then in doing that, things didn't go the way he thought they would. Mm -hmm. And that has caused Tony mm -hmm. quite a bit of pain. Because my logic would be, when we, when we talked about the first universe, mm -hmm. was the idea behind that was this person is deliberately going out to do that. Yeah, and... And they've deliberately set out, is that as evil? In this consequence, in this situation, I, I would argue that it's different. This person had other goals goals that were had good intentions but there were unforeseen consequences of that they didn't intentionally go out so that's where my my view on the morality is different was because in in situation a they've deliberately gone to ruin someone's life this one not intentional so what you're saying is it's not so it's split a bit it goes from not only the action itself mm -hmm. but also the intention hmm. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> um, so it's so what your essentially your one has been split now. Mm -hmm. So it's and let's we'll further define that with the next question. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, what you're saying, and I just want to clarify to make sure that what I'm saying is correct. Okay. The weight of the morality is not not only on the action anymore, mm -hmm. but also the intent surrounding that action. Mm. Well, maybe that's what it should have led with. I suppose intent. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I didn't mean action. Maybe I didn't have the right word for it. Because if you talk about... Well, no, because they are two separate things. Okay. And I'll get to that mm -hmm. in a second. Because that's yep. what I'm trying to do Nut is... Nut out. Nut out is basically... This is a different kind of hypothetical. I probably won't post this. Okay. But I just... I found it really interesting. Yeah. of thought. Mm -hmm. So, um... Intention, okay? Mm -hmm. So now let's change the characters a little bit. To, think of to Steve and Zemo. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say... Let's keep it up with Steve. Mm -hmm. Okay, even though this might not make sense with the gag I've been going at. <laughs> let's say... Because, like, once again... Uh, so just once further, uh, intent and action. So, so far you've put the weight of morality on both the action itself and the intent. Mm -hmm. So if someone intends to do something bad then they do something bad that in your mind so far has been bad and mm. the same level of bad going throughout until you remove the intent mm. in which case it's not as bad as the previous things yeah is that what you've been saying so yeah, far yeah I think so just to clarify but there's, a, there's a lot of words that's confused my poor little brain okay okay so it's, so really, it's really important I don't that you get this distinction when we're talking about action, if someone has gone out with bad intentions to do bad things, I consider that bad. If someone has good out, gone out with good intentions but there's bad consequences, I suppose that would mean uh, it would still be good. May, I think it would still come down to the actions in, in what it is so that they're doing. you're taking away the actual... Action, the, the weight of morality on the action itself, and you're solely purposing it towards the intent. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So say Steve mm -hmm. was like, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go cause this Zima guy a big old bunch of pain in his life." Uh huh. And he was like really excited. He planned it out in his he mind. He was excited. Okay? He's excited. Of course, he is. He Steve's wants a psychopath. To. Yeah. Clearly. Right. 
He smiles, kills people, hits them with a shield. <laughs> Most of Marvel superheroes are psychopaths. But let's not go down that track. Yes, no, no, no. Um, yeah, so he's like, hey, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna cause Zemo mm -hmm. quite a bit of pain in his life. Mm -hmm. And really... <laughs> he's, he's set out Let's, to do it. Yep. He's set out. He's he, got he's the going. intent. Yeah. And then he tries mm -hmm. for all for all intents and purposes. Mm -hmm. He tries and it just through no fault of his own mm -hmm. doesn't work out. <laughs> yeah. Zemo doesn't doesn't even realize anything's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that still Is that still just as evil as like you know as intending and then having it follow through because the intent the once again I think I think the intent is still there so it's you just, set out to do it it just didn't work so it's just as evil yeah I think I would I would say that just as meaner should I say just as meaner yeah here we go we're about to loop back to Lex are we meaner no we're not <laughs> <laughs> we're not we're not we're not yeah no I, I would say it is because he's still going out to do that he's, he's still going to try and mess this guy's life, life up to something mm -hmm. stopped him whatever it might have been bit of luck bit of chance but if things had all lined up and he'd done it that would still be meaner yeah yeah so through no fault of his own yeah it's just that's so he's happened. still okay mm. uh, possibly final one because I don't really think I can <laughs> go much further so let's say let's let's loop back to mm. Lex oh, and Clark it. Okay, this isn't a trap. This isn't a trap. <laughs> it's just, this is a much more convenient example. Because mm -hmm. this happens in the comics all the time. Not that I'm referencing anything. Lex has the intent. And he goes out to do a bad thing to Clark. Mm -hmm. But then, through no intention. Mm -hmm. No intent. He actually, through his actions, ended up doing a, a, a good thing. A greater thing for the world. Mm. Does that make it evil? Mm. Because he set out. He set ruin. out. He wasn't... The good thing wasn't his goal, right? Mm. And at no point he was like, oh, hey, this will be a benefit or whatever. Mm. Right? He set out to do a shitty thing to Clark and then just incidentally mm. a really good thing has come out of it mm. and Clark hasn't really been hurt. If I'm still looking at this the way that I've said... You don't, it you don't have to constantly... Once again, morality no, is complex. No, but, but, but you, using that same idea... In my mind, the intention was still there. It was just a happy coincidence that everything turned out... That turned out really great. Turned out better. Turned out better. So it was still... The intent was still there. It was a bad... Bad idea. Just something good came from it. But that was never the case. It just... It was a happy little coincidence. So... You could argue that... Well, I could argue at the, at the very least. Is that it's still... Evil... But the consequences, unforeseen, turned out to be good. So is that just as bad as the previous lines, or...? I suppose. I suppose. You don't, you don't have to, like, give a quick answer if you don't. No, 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 like, I'm just trying to think, like, because... The whole that's point, the the point the of whole... this segment is I'm, I'm trying to make a bunch of people think. Mm. And it's, in, in all honesty, right now, we're a bit fine with time. We've got one bar left. Okay. Because, yeah, I think, I think as I said, if I'm, if I'm using the same idea, if... if and I, you don't if, have to. Morality is complex. Morality is like, complex. Humans jump all the time. But if you're trying to... If, if I want to keep it straight in my head, how I would view things, then that's... My logic would be, well, it would still be evil. It would still be an evil act. Mm -hmm. It's just the repercussions were good. And I suppose it all depends on what's normed good and evil. Hmm... Cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna cool. I'm gonna say yes. It's still evil. Cool. That's that's all. We're good. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you liked that video or found anything at all interesting in it, please comment down below or share, like, and subscribe.